The sweet science of pugilism has given us some epic battles over the decades. In this video, we'll look at some of the most legendary knockouts from boxing's golden era, the 1980s through the 2000s. This was when the heavyweight division was stacked with all-time greats, and thrilling punch-outs were almost guaranteed whenever two top contenders stepped into the ring. So sit back, strap on your gloves, and prepare to be entertained by some of the most devastating KOs in boxing history. The Rumbling in Reno, Tyson vs. Michael Spinks, 1988. It didn't last 90 seconds, but Mike Tyson's 1988 title defense against Michael Spinks certainly lived up to its once and for all billing. Fighting out of his hometown of Trenton, New Jersey, the Olympic gold medalist Spinks entered the bout as the world's undisputed heavyweight champion. However, it became instantly apparent that the cunning Iron Mike was on a different level than Jumbo that night in Reno, Nevada. Tyson came out like a ball of lightning from the opening bell, instantly swarming Spinks with blistering combinations. A picture-perfect left hook cracked Spinks on the chin and sent him crumbling to the canvas. He managed to rise unsteadily at the count of eight, but Triple G was having none of it. With ruthless precision, Tyson zeroed in for the kill, unloading a barrage that ended with another monstrous left hook. Spinks collapsed face first onto the ring floor, out cold before he even hit the canvas. The entire fight lasted 91 seconds, a brief but emphatic changing of the guard that announced Tyson as the new preeminent man in the division. Hearns gets Megan, the showdown in Vegas, 1989. Tyson vs. Thomas Hearns. Mike Tyson's destructive weight class takeover rolled on in 1989 with the Motor City Cobra in his sights. Thomas, the hitman Hearns, was one of the most feared punchers in boxing history, having won titles at welterweight, light middleweight, middleweight, and light heavyweight. However, the naturally smaller Hearns were moving to heavyweight to challenge Iron Mike, perhaps a weight class too far against boxing's hottest commodity. Over 100,000 fans packed the Las Vegas Strip to witness the showdown between these hard-hitting legends. They didn't have to wait long to see fireworks, as Hearns came out firing right hands from the opening bell. However, his crisp punches didn't seem to phase the iron-chinned Tyson. Midway through the first round, Mike landed a monstrous right hand behind Hearn's ear that immediately put the hitman's lights out. Hearn's crashed helplessly to the canvas, out cold, before his brain processed what happened. It was a brutal reminder that, while Hearn's was a marvelous technician, he lacked the size to compete at the top of the heavyweight division. The fight clock read only 2.32 when Tyson emphatically shut down one of the sport's all-time great punchers. Night of the Living Druid, 2001. Hasim Rahman vs. Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis entered his title defense against little-known heavyweight Hasim the Rock Rahman in April 2001 as a massive betting favorite. After all, the Brit star was undefeated had just battered title holders Holyfield and Tyson in dominant fashion and looked unstoppable heading into South Africa. However, Rahman from suburban Baltimore via Arabia was packing dynamite in both fists and wasn't afraid to let them fly against the champ. In a shocking twist, Rahman came out like a man possessed from the opening bell, winging destructive shots at Lewis's head. Somewhere in the early going of round five, Rahman landed a devastating overhand right flush on Lewis's button that sent the champion tumbling lifelessly through the ropes. Lewis crashed to the canvas in a near seizure-like fashion, while the referee frantically counted to ten. Rahman was now the new heavyweight king of the world in one of the greatest title-winning upsets in history. Their immediate rematch would see Lewis gain revenge. Still, Rahman had made his case as a true championship-level fighter that night in shocking fashion. Rising from the Dead in Memphis, 2003, Vitali Klitschko vs. Corey Sanders. Vitali Klitschko entered 2003 riding a wave of momentum as the undefeated rising star of the heavyweight division. At 6'7", with an 84-inch reach, Dr. Iron Fist was oozing with talent and promise on his path toward a title reign. Standing across the ring from him in Memphis was respected South African slugger, 
Corey the Sniper Sanders, fighting in his second bout since shockingly coing Vladimir Klitschko the previous year to claim a piece of the title. However, no one gave the aging Sanders much of a chance against the intimidating Ukrainian giant. The early rounds saw Klitschko impose his physical advantages, outboxing and manhandling the smaller Sanders. Midway through the sixth, it seemed only a matter of time before the end came. Suddenly, in a flash, Sanders countered Klitschko's right hand with a hellacious left hook that connected perfectly on the chin. Klitschko crashed face first to the canvas, out cold before his face even touched the ring. It was one of the most thunderous one-punch knockouts from a fighter many wrote off in heavyweight history. The colossal upset sent shockwaves through the division. Many thought Sanders' best days were behind him, yet he had put the feared Klitschko to sleep with one biblical hook. Vitali would go on to avenge the loss and continue his ascent, but Sanders had proven at age 38 that the old dog still had some bite left. His slaying of the giant solidified him as a true fighter for the ages. Bow to the Thriller, from Manila, 2005. Lennox Lewis vs. Vitali Klitschko. After daunting comeback wins over Raman and Tua, the chips were down for Lennox Lewis heading into his retirement fight against dominant champion Vitali Klitschko in 2003. Vitali was a monster at 6'7", with an 84-inch reach, and had thoroughly dominated Kirk Johnson and Corey Sanders in title defenses. Lewis was giving away several inches and looked ripe for an early night against the seemingly unstoppable Ukrainian Colossus. For six fast-paced rounds, the fighters engaged in gladiatorial warfare. Lewis's experience and pace kept him competitive, while Klitschko showed heart by marching through Lewis's power shots. Somewhere in the Savage Sixth, Klitschko suffered a gruesome cut over his left eye from an accidental head clash. With blood pouring into his eyes, the champion bravely fought on. Still, it became apparent the referee would soon call a stoppage on the cut. In a bold display of grit, Klitschko refused to quit, continuing to press forward until the final bell, despite being virtually blinded by his blood. Lewis was awarded a technical decision victory, but both men left it all in the ring and gained eternal respect in their thriller in Manila. It was a sensational swan song for Lewis against a true fighter for the ages, Klitschko. Night of the Living Druid 2, 2009 Vladimir Klitschko versus Ruslan Shagaev After several years of dominance following Big Brother Vitali's retirement, Vladimir Klitschko entered 2009 looking to unify the heavyweight titles against WBA champion Ruslan Chagaev of Uzbekistan. Klitschko had systematically wiped out the division with technical knockouts, but the chinny White Tyson promised to bring the fight. Chagaev proved tougher than expected for 11 rounds, using movement and wild momentum shots to keep Klitschko guessing. But the longer the fight went, the more it seemed like only a matter of time before Klitschko's accuracy and power told. In round 12, Dr. Steelhammer timed Chagayev perfectly with a short left hook as the challenger charged forward. The thunderous shot exploded on Chagayev's chin, sending his limp frame collapsing face first onto the bottom ring rope in a crumpled heap. The ref quickly waved off the bout, handing Klitschko a spectacular 12 round TKO to add another title to his collection in highlight reel fashion. Chagayev had pushed Klitschko to new levels. But in the end, it merely delayed the inevitable crushing finish. We hope you enjoyed this look back at some of the most iconic KOs in boxing history from the 1980s through 2000s. These titans left it all in the ring with displays of heart and heavy fists. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more classic boxing content as we continue exploring the legends and lore from the sport's golden era. New videos added regularly so hit that notification bell.